Hi, Michael Rawls from Corby Town TV. Caught up with Greg Mills before training uh, this evening, just to ask him a, a few questions. Greg, what do you do when you're away from football to relax? Uh, to relax, I'll be with my girlfriend, just watching TV. Uh, I'll see Eddie, Shane, um, go pool, uh, stuff like that. Really, just take take myself away from football and just chill out. Yeah, do you find that hard getting away from football? Um, I find it, it's all right. Um, when I see the boys, we don't talk about football loads. We talk, we mention the game, uh, but and normally we're just talking about how our days have been and stuff like that. And when I see my girlfriend, we just talk about how our days have been. So I, I find it all right, but still, obviously, football's in the back of your mind. Yeah, yeah. What do you feel has changed this season in and around the club? I think the club's a lot more, I come in, I think uh, December last year, January, and I think the club is a lot more stable. I think the board have made themselves known to all the lads and the fans, and I think the fans are behind us. I think it's just a positive, everybody feeling positive. The lads are, the club is, everyone on the bus. It's just, it's just a good atmosphere at the minute, and I think that is, that's off the pitch is now starting to relate what's going on on the pitch. I just think the club's on the way up. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. It seems you are enjoying your football this season. Why do you think that is? Is that related again back to what you just said about well, yeah, the club? Well, yeah, for the first time, probably since I've dropped out of full time, I've started enjoying football again. Um, Tommy's been fantastic. He's, he's always straight. If we need a kick up like the backside against Slough, for instance, we got it and we've responded. I think all the lads are honest with each other. Um, we're a good group. We're all tight. We all speak off the pitch. Um, there's no, there's no little groups. I think all the lads get on really well, and I think that's now starting to impact on everybody's game, not just mine. That we can all trust each other. If I know if I'm, if I if he gets past me, I know Cal's there to back me up, and vice versa. And I think now we're all just starting to understand each other, and I think everybody's game is just lifting because we're all just getting better and more confident. Yeah, and I guess the reaction has been really from the disappointment of the FA Cup, which everyone felt. I know. Um, only one defeat since then, which I think is what eight matches or something. Yeah, I mean, which is I know the Slough game was a defeat, but you know during that time is pretty good, really. Well, I think we're third in the league now, and I think if you have a look at some of the fixtures we've played against some of the teams, no disrespect that Paul have played, but I think they've had a lot of an easier start than us. So I think now they're starting to play. As you see in Weymouth the other day, they lost starting to play teams around us and they're all beating each other and if we can just carry on keeping our momentum uh, I think we'll be fine. What goals targets if any do you set yourself for the season? Well I got 11 in half a season last year um, and I said to Tommy at the start of the year I want to get 20. Um, maybe that's a bit ambitious or not but uh, I've been playing out wide last season I was playing up front quite a bit and whatever so I've been playing a lot more out wide now so I just want to get as many as I can the other day I, um, I know I scored but I was just as happy setting Spence up for new scoring so to me it doesn't really matter I'm, as long as we're winning it doesn't really matter to me how See, many I get it seems like you're really happy you know um, playing out wide I guess yeah you know? I'm, I'm naturally I'm a winger I think now there's there's a good six seven lads that I knew before I ever come to Corby that are all here so I've got we're all close friends with them six or seven and I think people like Molly and Walks I didn't really know before coming to Corby but even them they're all just such a such a tight bond and I think everybody just, just gets on so well when you're when you're on the pitch are you aware of just how much the fans seem to be behind the team this season I think even against that we, we were so disappointed and even the fans were clapping us off and they weren't downhearted and Last year I thought the fans were fantastic, especially with what's going on and that's why I think we played Paul last year and I said to Tommy when he was going through the financial difficulties that I wanted to play, not for Tommy and for the fans. I think he stuck by us all through thick and thin since I've just been here, I've been here less than a year. Mm. And I think now we want to repay the fans by hopefully getting getting in the playoffs minimal, then going from there. Yeah. We just want to repay them and they, they have been they have been great to us. And, if you look at the attendances that we played the other, uh, the other day, 100, 150 there max, we're getting threes, fours, 
hopefully we can start pushing to fives and sixes. I think the average is about 450 at home. That's it, I think yeah. hopefully now we're third and we're doing well, if we keep on winning, I think people will start, everybody wants to watch a winning team and I think we can start pushing the five, six barrier if we keep doing what we're doing. Saturday's goal was top, top draw. What went through your head when you picked the ball up? <laughs> I don't know. Well, first of all, I thought I've got to beat the right back. And then I beat him. And then I've gone into the area and normally I'd try and whip it or I'd pass it or try and cross it. And I just thought, I'm going to smash this. And it, and it went top corner. So <laughs> I'm not going to be saying I'm going to be shooting from everywhere. But I think that just comes with confidence again, though. I think that comes from the confidence Tommy puts in everybody and the lads. And, uh, you've seen when Cleve scored and then Spence and then me, everybody's around each other, everybody's coming to celebrate. And I think that is the confidence from that. We've got people talking and people just being confident. Great stuff. There are some good youngsters within the setup uh, at Corby Town. Do the more experienced players, and I guess we would count you in as that, help the youngsters, and how do you do that? Yeah, well, I'm always trying to talk to Connor and Curtis. I'm, not really someone I remember when I was a young lad, someone who was shouting at the young ones, effing and blinding that, I don't think really that helps the young, the young lads, I don't really think it helps anybody, so I'm more somebody who I'll speak to them one-on-one -on -one about just my opinion, if they take, want to take that or not, but I think the future is bright, I've, I've watched the under-18s a couple of times and they look very good and you've got people like uh, Curtis, Connor's obviously already in the team, but he's pushing everybody else now, you've got Curtis on the bench, You've got you've been having Harry on the bench, Jordan on the bench, Elliot's been travelling with the squad. Absolutely. And I just think now you're looking at it, I'm looking, I'm thinking I've got to play well. You've got people like Cleet there, Wilson on the bench. And then I've got to play well to keep Wilson out of the team. But then also I've got I've got Jordan and and you know, Harry and people like that, the other young lads in my position that I've got to make sure I'm doing well yeah. to keep them out of the team because they're hot on our tails. And I think that says for all the lads and I think this year we've got real competition for places. We've seen Eddie come in the other day, we kept a clean sheet. Molly's now, uh, he's, he knows when he, when he comes back in, he's got, he's got a form because Eddie and uh, Jamie are right on the toes and I think that, that's making everybody perform better. Thanks, Greg. Cheers. Brilliant, thanks for you.